Shalom, everybody. This is Macintosh from the 12 tribes of Israel, Yeshuro, specifically from the tribe of Lawaya, Levi, the so called Haitians, and Judah, Yahawada, the so called Negroes. I hope you guys are having a Shalom day, a peaceful day, a prosperous day, a great day. All praises to the Most High, all glory to the Most High, all power to the Most High. In today's video, we're going to be going into true black Hebrew Israelite history. It's truly just Hebrew Israelite history because black is a, um, an adjective and it's also a proverb, a byword. But for easy comprehension, I'm just going to use that word inappropriately. Um, we're going to be learning about black Hebrew Israelite history, um, black people, true history. We're going to be using the Bible to decode all of this and prove that the Bible is not for Christians, it's not for Islamic people, it's not for Buddhists, it's not for Hindus, and it's not for Catholics. So if you're any one of those, you may get offended by this video, so if I was you, I'll scram. Um, this video is only for my people, and I speak to my people, and Christ came only for His people. Now if you would like to be a convert, and like to convert into our belief in religion and stuff, you can come through one of us and stuff and get initiated and baptized in the name of Yeshaya, Hamashiach, and Ahaya. Yeshaya is the son of Ahaya, the father, the creator of all things. I am that I am. So if you're not converted, please don't be using our information. You will be in extreme danger. Um, the Most High has appointed um, the Hebrew Israelites to get rid of the enemy. So if you are one of the enemies and you want to go against the chosen people and stuff and try to say someone else's, especially after hearing the facts today, um, you can go to hell. So other than that, man, all praises to the Most High. Kawam Yesharol, arise Israel. May we all reunite and come back together and reestablish this covenant again that we broke that, that got us enslaved. So we're going to go ahead and begin with this website right here. These are true images of the Hebrew Israelites. Um, this is them building the pyramids, making the brick walls and stuff like that. And there's no pale-skinned people there at all. And this is near Africa and Bethlehem, Jerusalem, Israel. No white people at all there. They were just different shades of brown. And so they were doing this under bondage while they're enslaved. And it says it right here in Exodus chapter 1 verse 14. So we keep going on. These are all Hebrews. Now if you want to stop and check out what they're trying to tell you through the picture, because a picture can tell a thousand words, you can go ahead and, and, and check it out for yourself. And you can also read the subtitles if you want to. So these are more Hebrews, as you can tell. Yep, they have nappy hair. Beautiful nappy hair, spirally hair, like a tall bush tree reaching for the sun. Unlike dead spaghetti hair, dropping to hell. And so they were under a lot of slavery during that time. This was before we got free. And right here, you can... um see that these are the Egyptians obviously some of these people are Egyptians and actually some of them are Hebrew Israelite too mixed in they look like Spanish descents and stuff Spanish Hispanic mixed in with the Hebrew Israelites because his the Hebrew Israelites are Hispanic Native American and um, well Native Indian pardon me Native Indian and so-called black Christ is dark skin though overall. So these ones look like they're um they they might be Hispanic. And you can tell they're Hebrew because of their beard and their afro. Egyptians cut their hair. They never kept their hair. And he these are the women. As you can tell the men's hair aren't covered. They don't have a headband, but the women do. So this might be the Hispanic people. This look, um, all right, so these right here is the Northern Hamites. They're from the tribe of Ham. 
And as you can tell, they're not Hebrew because they don't have the, the beard on the side of their, their face. But they did have long black hair too, similar to the Hebrew Israelites. They're different. Or oh, these must be Nubian, um, new, the Nubian um, Hamites. These are Hamites as well. Hamites are very, very, very black. Japhets are light, very light. Shemites are in between, like light brown or brownish. You can definitely tell these are Shemites, Israelites, because these are their garments right here. These right here are their garments and their fringes. And you can see these ones, they have hair ties. And they have the side hair right here. And as you go down, you can tell these are the Europeans. They call them Yafet. Jafet. They're from the family of Jafet. Some of the um, Europeans or white people too are from Esau. Esau is the red skin people, the red skin. The white skin ones are um your um Yafet. Jafet. And here are close looks at them. Now if you want, you can go ahead and read the little descriptions. I might make another video about this if you want. If you want to find this website, it's right here. You can definitely tell this is Hebrew Israelite because the way his hair look and there's hair on the side and he looked like he's kind of praying but who knows I got to look into this a lot more all right continuing on this is Ramses when he had the Hebrew Israelites under a iron yoke when we're enslaved and Moses came and freed us this Ramses. As you can tell, he has no hair on his face whatsoever. Very feminine. But the Hebrew Israelites, you can tell they have long hair, long locks. And you can tell that the Egyptians were pretty tall compared to... They were like the fallen gods, gods Nephilim, compared to the Hebrew Israelites right here. That's why they made him so big. And as you can tell, these are all Hebrew Israelites. So there were no white Europeans there under slavery, as the Bible states. Now this is the Hebrew Israelites um, captive by the Assyrians. As you can tell, they're Hebrew because of the hair on the side, the side hair, and the cornrows on their hair. And these guys right here look like the... Um, they almost look like the um, Amalekites, which are the Ashkenazi Kar um, Khazar Jews, Khazarian Jews, Nebuchadnezzar and all this stuff, Babylonian um, descents. So as we go down, this is more Hebrew Israelites being enslaved. You can tell they have the garment or the um, head thing, the um, head garment. Some of these people were Indians too. When the Europeans invaded the Indians, the Europeans also invaded the, the Cubans, the Puerto Rican, the Haitian, the Jamaican, every one of the 12 tribes of Israel, which we'll get into a little bit later. These are more pictures of like um, the Hebrews. This was like during the games that they had in um, Rome, I believe, when um, they put them in the ring with tigers. To fight with tigers and they got vultures, you know, eating the flesh. And these are all dead and slayed Hebrews. And there goes the line right here. They used to call it the Olympic Games. That's where sports come from and all that stuff. Yep, they're dead. You can tell they were Hebrew. So Hebrews went through a lot. This is this is why the Most High had sent Christ to die for his people only because all the other nations were the ones attacking us Christians Islam Hindu Buddhism Cat uh, I mean um, all them groups man Mormons Illuminati oh man every nation hated us but we wiped out a bunch of them too we wiped out a bunch and now this is where they have one of the Hebrew Israelites bowing down to um, one of the Babylonian um, priests so called kings Assyrian, ancient Iran, 
Israelites under Babi Ab under Babylonian control. Now this is when we started to forget who we are and we started to fit in with their their new rules for us and new statutes and agenda. As you can tell, they had locks based on how the hair looks like right here and they had long beards. Like the fake white Jews in um Israel right now try to act like they are. So these are all hieroglyphs. All this come from the pyramids, as you can tell. These people must be um, Arab or something. Yep, Turkish Arab race. See, they look different than us. If you want to, you can read what it says. Okay, that's Yafet. Jafet, an ancient day before they start turning white. And look how he has blue eyes. So most of all the races were originally dark skinned before they turned leprosy. Where their skin start turning pale as a disease and stuff like that. It's actually part of the curse. See now this is some of the native Indians as well. As you can tell some of the Haitians, Lawayans are native Indians. If you want to stop and read these, you can. I I'll, I'll might I might make another video, like a part two, going into detail about all that stuff. But it's so deep. I want to make sure we get get it right. So this is the trend, the um transatlantic slave trade, when um they were taking us from Africa and bringing us to all the corners of the earth. This is when we got scattered because we broke the covenant. So the Most High appointed terror over us. He appointed the white man and the Arabs and all that to enslave us. And even some of our own people. So these were all ancient patriots. Hebrew patriots. If you want to, you can go ahead and pause the, you know, video. We're ancient and indigenous people here on this earth and our history needs to be known. It needs to be resurfaced. Because we had traveled many places as Hebrew Israelites. By the way, there might be two parts to this video. See, these people aren't Hebrew Israelites. They're Yemen. Yemen. Now, if you don't know what some words mean, please take note and do some research later. All right. Boom. So now we're going to go ahead and continue. I hope you guys are still with me. I don't know what's on this website. I don't need anything right there. All right. We continue on. <clears throat> By the way, the name of the Most High is Ahaya. The name of the Son is Yeshaya. So, where did the black Negroes really come from? Why were they scattered abroad and gathered from all over the world and brought to the Americas? They were taken from Africa, Europe, and the Middle East according to the scriptures and the historical scholars. So, in Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4, And thou, even thyself, you, even you yourself, shall discontinue from thine heritage from Israel. That I gave thee, so the Most High gave it to us, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, in America, in Europe, in all these lands that we're in. For ye have kindled the fire in mine anger, because we broke the covenant, we got the Most High really mad, which shall burn forever. So in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68, and the Most High Yahya shall bring thee into Egypt again. And Egypt means slavery, oppression. He will bring us back into oppression and slavery again with ships. Because remember, Egypt is right nearby. They don't need ships to walk to Egypt from Israel. So therefore, he's metaphorically saying Egypt is a word for oppression. He'll, 
pardon me, he'll bring us into oppression again with ships. And that's exactly how we got on these ships um, that these white people, Europeans or Caucasian people and Karzerian Jews put us on. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Like how they used to sell this on Wall Street and stuff as bondmen and bondwomen. Sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. And no man shall buy you. Now has that ever happened to the white Jews or any white race or any person white? Nope. Only the black race, Hispanic race, and native Indian. All right, so now um, let us continue. So in Romans chapter 9, verse 4, Who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law? Who are the Israelites? See, the Israelites is who the, um, the covenant was made with and for and only to the Israelites. So who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law, the Ten Commandments for our, our people, and the service of God, Ahaya, and the promises. All that belongs to us. It was promised to us. Keep feeding our God. Romans chapter 9 verse 5 Whose are the pardon me Whose are the fathers in whom are concerning the flesh Christ came the fathers Abraham Isaac Jacob the flesh of Christ came for us for them who is over all a higher blessed forever amen Hold on one second guys All right. All praises to the Most High. So Exodus chapter 42. Wait, I mean, pardon me. Let's make this big so we can see it easier. So Exodus chapter 4 verse 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, which is the Pharisee, the president. Thus say it the Most High, Yeshua, is my son. So the Most High God says, Israel is my son. We are the first son of Israel. The Most High, the first fruit, like Christ was the first fruit, even my firstborn. So we're his firstborn before everyone else, and he loves us. We are blessed. So in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 23, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, we are the world, we are the church, we're the assembly, the congregation. Which are written in heaven in the book. And to Ahiah the judge of all. And to the spirits of just men made perfect. So right here as you go down. It says in Genesis chapter 15 verse 13. And he said unto Abram. Abba am. Abba I am. Know of a surety that thy seed shall be. A stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. We're at the end of the four hundred years now, and that's why we get into World War Three, because the Pharaoh, the the president, don't want to let us go. The other nations don't want to let us go. So now the Most High is going to punish them. He's going to kill them. He's going to kill your people. Those of you who are not Israelite. And have not converted. So surety mean a servant. A bondman. So know of a surety. Or certainly. 
that thy seed, your children, your offspring, because Abraham is the father of, of um, Jacob, Jacob, and Isaac, Isaac, and Israel, so that thy seed, who? Israel. What Israel? The twelve tribes of Israel shall be a stranger in a land, America, that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and we have, for four hundred years. This must end. In Genesis chapter 15, verse 14, And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge. So the Most High is going to judge them. And this was actually subliminal. We got enslaved because that's how the Most High was going to help us multiply within their infrastructure to take the land as He had promised. So everything subliminal. We were enslaved because the Most High wanted to punish us only. We were meant to break the covenant so we can fulfill the covenant. Because that's how it happens. Now that we broke the covenant, we became enslaved and we got took into the land that we're supposed to take. And the land that we're going to take and possess. So now we're scattered all over here, all across the earth, and we're, we have multiplied beyond number. It's time to claim the land now. And the 400 years is up. And the promise has to be kept because the Most High is faithful and keep His word. Therefore, it's time to claim the land and proclaim liberty. So, so the nation whom they shall serve, I will judge. And afterward shall they come out with great substance. So we're leaving with a great amount of abundance, spiritually and physically and financially, once the Most High is ready and Christ is coming to redeem us. Believe it or not, this is only for Israel anyway, and I believe it. So notice that the Afros and beards, the Hebrews also wore garments with fringes. Also, keep in mind the various shades of the Hebrews, ranging from light-skinned to dark-skinned. The Egyptian wore a headdress and goatees, not afros and beards, but but the but the but the wear also dark skin. I don't know what they meant to say here. So they wore headdresses and goatees, not afros and beards. Oh yes, yeah, some of the people they wore goatee and um, beards. So the Egyptians wore a headdress like a wig and they had goatees and they had no afros or beards but they were also dark skinned as well. So you can tell who is who because of the face. These are Egyptians. Could you see how smooth and uh, feminine his face looked? But these two Hebrews he even made them kind of look the same in a way. There's a, this is a lighter Hebrew. This is a darker Hebrew. This is where you get the Spanish race and the Mexican and all that stuff. These people right here are all Egyptian. So when you shave your hair and beard, you're looking like an Egyptian. It's very misleading. So as you know this already, we already seen that. So it says in Exodus chapter 1 verse 13, And the Egyptians, the oppressors, made the children of Yesharal, the children of God, to serve with rigor. High bills, you know, minimum wage, child support, welfare, all this stuff, trickery, lack of remedy in the court system, still till today it's the same. Exodus chapter 1 verse 14, and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage and motor and, and a uh, motor and in brick and in all manner of service in the field. All their service wherein they made them serve was with vigor. Therefore, it was the Hebrew Israelites that possibly created the pyramids under bondage, motors in brick, all these rocks and stuff. Plus, we're children of the most high. So we had the strength and power to do that. They wouldn't be up, the pharaohs wouldn't be up there building their own faces and monuments. They were enslaving us. And these were the first people to enslave us before um, the Moorish people enslaved us, the AK Moabites, and the, Euro the European. So if we continue on now. So in Leviticus chapter 19 verse 27, ye shall not round, which mean cut, 
the corners of your heads, like line up, shape ups, all that stuff. Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. And these are the commandments. And this is us building the bricks just like the Bible said. So there's proof to back it all up. And how you can tell they're Hebrew? Because of the um the beard. Now these ones you can tell that they, they're under slavery, which means they, they cut their hair. The Egyptians cut their hair and made them look like them and even cut off um their side beard and everything. Under slavery like jobs make you do today. You can tell this was a Hebrew. You can tell this is a young child, a young son, because he's bald everywhere. And you can tell that was the mom, and she had long, beautiful hair. And she wore a dress, not pants. Now, this is more of us. As you remember, these look like the, La the Latino ones. You can tell that they're um, Hebrew because of their skin color, their hair color, and the beard on the side of their face. And this is more of the Latinos. We go down. And this is how we look like modern day. And here we go. We, mostly all the nations were dark skinned before the curse of leprosy came upon us. And we start having pale skinned people. Red was the only color. Was like the the the... The different and strangest color, you know, the, the Europeans were red, Izar. So the dark skinned Puerto Rican, Ephraim, Kowam Ephraim, the dark skinned Brazilians, Asher, these are all Hebrew Israelite, Native American Indians, God, these are all Hebrews, the dark skinned Mexican, Ishakar. Although a lot of these people look different today. And these people are not Hebrews. These are Africans. These are dirty, filthy Africans. We're not Africans. These people are filthy. They have nothing to do with our race. And they're from the tribe of Ham. The fallen gods and all that stuff. Nephilim. All that stuff. Because all this is abomination. Bald head. No hair on their face. Gaps or whatever they call these things in their mouth. And... You know, gauges and horns everywhere. And uh, this is like voodoo. Dirty African. We're nothing like them. Never call me African. I rebuke you. They even had the dark-skinned Chinese and dark-skinned Japanese. Even King James was dark-skinned. You know, the aboriginals, the dark-skinned the dark -skinned Arabians. Even Haiti was... Um, Española before it turned to Haiti when the Spanish people came from Spain um, and conquered Puerto Rico, Cuba and Haiti and turned Haiti into Haiti and Cuba when it was really Hispaniola so Cubans and literally Haitian they're black and the land all belongs to the Haitians that entire land so even Dominicans are um were originally dark skin Samoan natives Iranians Persians some of these people aren't um, Hebrew Israelite but they're trying to show you the difference between us that we're not all the same their beliefs and traditions are so different and there goes Esau the Caucasian they're nothing like us they don't move like us don't talk like us they don't act like us. They're nothing like us. Our Bible has nothing to do with them. Their God is Zeus. Jesus. Zeus. That's who they believe in. And none of the promises in the Holy Bible has to do with Jesus or Zeus. That's blasphemy, matter of fact. Zeus will send you to hell. And if you look in... Um, so right here it says, Since they lack pigmentation or melanin, you can see the blood of their bodies through their skin. They claim to be white people. They're not white or pure or righteous or innocent or virgin. But actually they are red people according to the Bible, the book of law. In Genesis chapter 25 verse 25, And the first came out red. The first child came out red because Esau came out before, um, Isaac, before um, Jacob, which is Jacob. And these are the children of Isaac. Isaac is one of the sons of Abraham. So he came, when the first came out red, because they were twins too, Esau and Jacob were twins. 
all over like in hairy garment. So the one that came out first was red and he was hairy all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau because he's red and hairy. In Genesis chapter 25 verse 30, And Esau, the European, said to Jacob or Jacob, the, the black people, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage. So, I pray for you, feed me, I'm hungry right now, give me the red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom, which means faint. They have no faith, no understanding. They have no comprehension. They weren't born to know. And they still won't get it. And here goes their ancestors too. They are not hieroglyphs. And as you can tell, almost look like they had dreads in their hair back then too. So it's more, you got to really sit down and look at these pictures to get what's going on. So these are the Edomites. They're nothing like us. And most of the Ashkenazi, Karzarian Jews in Israel right now come from the sense of these people. From Esau, well, the, the Jews, the fake Jews come from Japheth, the Amalekite. These Europeans are Esau. They're red. All right, if you want to, you can stop and read all of this right here. And right here we say many co um, coats of color, which mean different shades of brown. Yep, so if you want to go ahead and check out this website too, you can. So if you look right here, in Genesis chapter 41, verse 43, And he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had. And they cried before him, Bow the knee. And he made him ruler over all the land of Jacob. And they're talking about Joseph. Joseph, because Joseph eventually was sell into bondage to the um to the Amalekites at first, the Ashkenazi Jews, then eventually the Ashkenazi Jews sold them to the Egyptians, I believe. I may be wrong, so do your research, read your Bible. But eventually they, he, Joseph ended up in Egypt because he was someone of great vision. He was intuitive, very visual. The Pharaoh promoted him to like chief or um, second chief in command and stuff, pretty much second to Pharaoh. And he pretty much ruled over Egypt in a way, and that, that was a Hebrew. So therefore, um, eventually Joseph caught up with his family later on and all that stuff. And they were shocked that he was ruler of Egypt because they sold him. They thought he was dead and long gone because it was a long time before they seen him again. Um, and he brought his family into Egypt, you know, into Canaan and all this stuff. And uh, you, you got to read the book, man. The book, the Bible is a book of history, man. Straight up, it's, it's intense. So eventually, once that pharaoh died, another pharaoh came upon, came up next, and he didn't have any respect for the Hebrew Israelites, nor did he know Joseph like that. So he started to enslave the Israelites again. So before that happened, though, um, Joseph was riding in the second chariot. So it says in um, Numbers chapter 15, verse 38, Speak unto the children of Yeshurun, and bid them that they make them fringes and the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribband of blue. So in Numbers chapter 15, verse 39, And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it, and remember all the commandments of the Most High, and do them. And that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye used to go a whoring, sleeping with other gods, committing adultery with other gods. So if you want to, you can keep reading. Go down. So it says in Job chapter 30 verse 30, My skin is black, black upon me, and my bones are burned with heat. Now, if you put something in the fire, what color does it turn? White or black? 
black. If your food get burnt on the stove, what color does it turn? Black. So therefore, my skin is black upon me, and my bones are burned with heat, with the sun. And plus, white people would have got cancer trying to build pyramids out there in that hot African desert of Egypt, Kemet, whatever you want to call it. So in the Songs of Solomon, chapter 1, Verse 5, I am black, but comely, O ye daughters of Yerowashalom, Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. The Songs of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 6, look not, look not upon me, because I am black, because the sun hath looked upon, upon me. My mother's children were angry with me. My mother's children, which is Esau, they made me the keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard have I not kept. So we've been serving these other people and not serving our own traditions and stuff. So in Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 21, For the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. I am black. Astonishment had taken hold on me. And this is why Christ came to redeem only Israel because all other nations abandoned us, enslaved us and all that. So in Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2, Judah, Yahawadah, mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. And the cry of Jerusalem, Yarawashalam, is gone up. You can hear the cry of us, man. We're dying in the ghetto. We're suffering. We're going through it. Hispanic people, uh, um, native Indians, and so-called melanin, dark-skinned black people, which they call Moorish, Moorish people, Moorish Hebrew Israelites, which mean dark-skinned Hebrew Israelites. So in Lamentations chapter 4, verse 8, their, vis their, um, vis their visage is blacker than a coil. They are not known in the streets. Yeah, we walk in the streets. They just call us black, Negro, nigger, African American. Not knowing that we're Israelite. Their skin cleaveth to their bones because we're so hungry. Been through so much opp oppression. It is withered. It has become like a stick. Look at Ethiopia today in Africa. Don't them people look like stick people? And white people, the tribe of Izzah, try to use that to gain money. Donate to these poor black people here today. These poor Africans. You guys took all our gold and silver. Took all our resources. They took all our stuff. And then now they want to try to help us like they're helping us. They don't even give us the money. So right here. So now the leprous is the leprosy is the, the skin disease that make you turn white. Exodus chapter four verse six and the most high Ahiah said furthermore unto him, Put now thine hand into thy bosom, into your heart. And he put his hand into his bosom, and when he took it out, behold, his hand was was leprous as snow. Therefore, that means Moses, because this is what happened to Moses. Therefore, Moses' skin was black. And when the Most High did the miracle on him and showed him proof how miraculous he is, he turned his skin from black to white as snow, leprous as snow. What color is snow? White. In, chapter, in Exodus chapter 4, verse 7, And he said, Put thine hand into thy bosom again. And he put his hand into his bosom again, and plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it turned again as his other flesh. What is the opposite of the color of snow? Black. So the Bible used metaphors so the white people didn't take out too much. Although they did take out a lot. So in um, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1, For the Most High will have mercy on Jacob, on Israel, on us. He's coming to save us and redeem us, especially y'all still with me right now in this video that didn't change the channel. And will yet choose, yet choose Israel, Yeshua, and set them in their own land. Not Christians, not Islamic, not Buddhists, not anyone else, no religion, but Israel. 
which is our nationality, not religion. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So if you're going to convert, convert today and know that you're going to be serving us. You will never be above us. And if you don't accept that, you're going against the Most High and us and you will be smitten. In Isaiah chapter 14 verse 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them and the land of the Most High for servants and handmaids. So we will be possessing all the other tribes that's not Israel and they will be serving us and they will be our handmaids and we will be um, working with them or they'll be serving us or we will be ruling over them with righteousness, in righteousness sake, honorably. There's, there will be honorable laws to this. And they shall take them captive and we shall take the white people, the European and all them people captives whose captives they were. Those who we were captives to, who had took us on the ships. Moorish, Moabites, Ashkenazi Jews, Arabs, Islam, Catholics, Europeans, Jephets, even German people. All them people will be our slaves again. And they shall rule over their oppressors. So now if we go down right here in Job chapter 8 verse 8. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to search of their fathers. So now we've been searching for our four forefathers and four mothers and seeking the truth. And here it is. Hebrew Israelites are black skin. If you hate black, you hate Christ. You hate God. Go to hell, Jesus Go to hell, Jews, Zeus. Go to hell, Christians. Go to hell, Catholics. Go to hell, Islamic people. Go to hell, Buddhists. Go to hell, Hindus. Go to hell, all you Hindu, all you New Age, Luciferian light workers. Go to hell. You're going to be serving us. Or go to hell. Because you have misled our people, led them astray, and lied to them. You had deceived them. You are a devil, a Satanist. And we will find our forefathers again, and we are, already have. So in Job chapter 8 verse 9, For we are but of yesterday. We are ancient, the ancient Hebrew Israelites, and know nothing because our days upon earth are a shadow. So in Job chapter 8 verse 10, Shall not they teach thee, and teach thee, and tell thee, and other, other words out of their heart? So shall not they teach you, and tell you and utter words out of their heart. So now that we got that all set. This is the last section I'm going to show you guys for this part one. Um, hold on, let me see. And we'll go into um, part two. Some of the slaves that they had. You know, this is proof to how we got enslaved and took in on ships again. Like the Most High stated he would. So the name of Israel is called Yeshurel. These are the names of Israel, Yeshurel, in ancient Paleo-Hebrew. And this is what the names mean. So Judah, Kawam Judah, Kawam Yahawada, 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 which means Ahaya thinks. Benjamin, Banyamyan, Banyamyan. Son of the right. Levi. Lawaya. Lawaya. Join to me. Simeon. Affliction heard. Also known as Shamiwan. Kawam Yesharal. Zubalon. Which mean in ancient Paleo Hebrew. Zabalawan. That mean dwelling. Ephraim. Aparayam. Mean. I am fruitful. Manasseh. Manasseh. Pardon me. Manasha. Mean made to forget. God. Ancient Paleo Hebrew. Same word. God. Mean troop. Reuben. Which is Ra'aban. Means see. It's a son. Ashur. Ashar. 
means happy. Naftali, Napatalia, mean my wrestling. Ishakar, mean in Palo Hebrew is Yashakar. Um, yeah, Yashakar, mean he is hired. So read um, Genesis chapter 49 and Deuteronomy chapter 33 to get the insight on that. Because that tells you the 12 tribes. And these are the 12 tribes, who they are. So Yahawada is the Negro, so-called African Americans. Banyamyan, Benjamin, is the West Indies, Jamaica to Belize. Lawaya is the Levites, the so-called Haitians. Shama, Shamaiwan, Simeon, is the so-called Dominican Republic. Zabala, um, Zabawalan is Zubalon, Guatemala to Panama. Aparayam is Ephraim, Puerto Ricans. Manasha, Manasse, Manasha, Manasse, Manasse is the Cubans. God, God is the North American Indians. Ra, Ab, Ra, Ra, Ab, Ra, Awaban, Ra, Awaban is Ruben. The Seminole Indians. Napatalia. Napatali. Is Argentina in Chile. Asher. Asher. Colombia to Uruguay. Yashakar. Isakar, Which is the so called Mexican. Now there is a 13th tribe in this. The tribe of Dan. The serpent. And you can go ahead and do your own research. Right here if you look in Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yeah. Gather yourselves together. O nation not desired. We're the nations that's not desired. Among the heathens. So in John top chapter 8 verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. So we must gather ourselves together. And hearken unto our father of Israel so again you can go ahead and read stop this and read a little bit about the so called Negroes they are beautiful Afro just like Hebrew Israelites are supposed to be doing Banyamyan the so called Jamaican West Belize Trinidad Barbados These are all of them, so you can pause it if you want or go to the website. Levi, the so called Haitians, Lawaya, the priests of Israel, the top in voodoo because of that too, because we fell. Shamiwan as well, Santa Maria, they into high voodoo too, because they, not that they were appointed priests, but because they're branched off of Haitians, the priests. See, they're brothers and cousins, and sometimes they're fighting each other. And Dominicans stole half of the land of Haiti. This was all Española, Española, Español. So you can go ahead and read all that if you want. Check out the website. The website's up here. Don't know if you can see it well, but pause it if you need to and check it out. Yeah, there's a lot of racism between white, white Haitians and dark-skinned Haitians and Dominicans and Haitians, period. So these ones right here, okay, these are still Dominicans. They were all dark-skinned before they turned light. Our language been separated, we've been scattered and all that. Zubalon, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, um, Nicaragua, Costa Rica and Panama. All these people are Hebrew Israelite, we're all scattered, we're all not desired. Our country been taken from us, and we're uniting to take it back now under the Most High's authority and command. Ephraim, Puerto Ricans, Boricuans, Boricua. Here we go. Keep going down, we're going to be running into the Cubans, Manasse, which are the Cubans. These are what they originally looked like too before everything changed. And they got leprosy, which means they started turning whiter and um, paler. God, the Native American Indians, they were dark skinned as well. That's why a lot of the Indians' pictures are kind of grayed out because many of them were dark skinned. They were definitely not white, plus, they dwelled out in the sun. 
The Caucasian people dwell in the mountains, so they were very bright. So these people were troops. So they're so called native Indians, they're not Indianans. And Ra'aban, Ruben, the so called Seminole Indians, this is them. They live around where I live, Seminole Ridge, and all that stuff, Seminole Warriors. You can go ahead and do research on this. So the whole Bible is black history, man. It, and you know history is thick. There's a lot to learn about that. So now this is all um, the Seminole Indians, how they look back in the day. Ashur, which is the so-called Colombia, Ecuador, Venezuela, Brazil, Peru, Bolivia, um, Paraguay, and Uruguay. These are all Hebrew Israelite nations, all indigenous people, sovereign, chosen amongst the Mo Most High. Naftali, so called Argentina and Chile. Argentina and Chile. Issachar, the so called Mexicans. And we all know they're working for minimum wage here in America. And they've been putting all our nations against each other, man. Puerto Rican, Mexican versus black and Negro. I'm not black. I'm not Negro. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, heck nah. Jamaican's like, no, nah, I'm not Haitian. I'm not part of Haitian. Haitian like, I'm not Jamaican. They got us fighting each other and we're one tribe. It's ridiculous to me, man. All praises to Ahaya, Bahasham, Yeshaya. All right, guys. So in part two, we're going to go into the Bible and I'm going to give you more proof and evidence in Bible pages about the black history. I'm only giving you guys a brief... um. A brief introduction to all this because the whole Bible is actually black history. Um, but I'm going to give you guys the main key things that will trigger the truth within you. And um, what needs to be triggered within you so you can become aware that this Bible is truth. And everything is said what's going to happen is happening now. And history is repeating itself. We're about to be free. And once you know the truth, the truth shall make you free. All right, all praises to the Most High, everyone. Halalahaya, Bahasham, Yeshaya, Hamashia, Swaharawak, Kwadash. Aman, Shalawam, peace be with you.